everyone, this is Shadow the Rat, and in this video I thought I'd go over some tips on reducing the cost of pet rats. So the first thing I want to go over is cages. Cages are going to be one of the bigger things when you first buy your rats, and they're going to cost the most if you buy them new. And the thing with cages is that rats require a very specific type of cage, namely you want it to have really good ventilation, so a wire cage is going to be best. You need one half inch bar spacing or one inch if you have larger rats, but still that can often allow them to escape, so you have to be careful. And then you also need it to be large enough for them to be able to climb around and enjoy themselves. So because of this, it's really hard to find a cheap commercial cage, especially new. So some of the things that people will do is, for example, they might make a DIY cage, and this can seem like a good option however if you think about the amount of time you have to put into it the things you have to buy just to make it and the whole planning process it's going to take you a lot more effort and it's also going to be pretty expensive so it might even be as expensive as buying a new commercial cage because of that I probably wouldn't recommend making a DIY cage if you're trying to save money you could try making something like a CNC cage for your rats but you will also need to hardware cloth it because the CNC grids are just too big for the rats and they will escape now I've never done this myself, however I did watch a video on this before, and I will link that video in the description below so you can see how you can build your own CNC cage if you so wish. Now what I think is a better option if you're looking for a cheaper cage is to go onto Craigslist or some other sort of online secondhand store and then look up rat cages. Sometimes you can find a really good deal on these sites just because people will have these cages and they no longer need them, and because of this they just want to sell them and get a little bit of their investment back, but they're also trying to get rid of it so they're not going to be over the top price. I see. On screen are two examples of a double critter nation I found on Craigslist, one for $50 and one for $75, and considering that DCNs usually retail for around 300 bucks, this is a really good deal. Now the next thing I want to go over are toys. While commercial toys can be really awesome, rats aren't going to be able to tell the difference between a DIY toy and a commercial toy, and indeed they're going to play with both of them just the same. And because of this, there's really no reason not to make your own DIY toys. Oftentimes you can use stuff you have around the house, or you can go out and buy cheap materials like these felt rectangles I have on screen along with these safety pins. These two together make a very cheap hammock that is easy to replace if your rats chew it. You can check the scrap section of craft aisles at most stores. I found them at Target, Michaels, and Walmart. And these fabrics are going to be at a discounted price. They're going to be much cheaper. Then you can also use things like cardboard boxes to make cool hideouts or whatever you feel like for your rats. Things like hot glue or popsicle sticks are also going to be great for making any sort of DIY toy. And because I know I'm going to be asked this, I just want to talk a little bit about hot glue guns. Hot glue is indeed safe to use with your rats because they are very good at determining what is safe to eat and what is not safe to eat. And because of this, even if they chew on it, they tend to spit out the hot glue. Now if your rat has pica or any other sort of eating disorder, you won't want to use hot glue and instead use something safe like Elmer's glue. However, if you have a normal rat, you don't need to worry about this, so you can use hot glue without any sort of issues. Now a great place to go if you're looking for these materials is the Dollar Tree. The Dollar Tree is going to be a very cheap place that you can get very cheap materials like these plastic bins I have on screen. These make perfect DIY levels. You can use them for hammocks, you can use them as digging boxes. They're just absolutely great. And there's so many other things you can get at the Dollar Tree as well, so I really recommend going there if you're looking for cheap DIY stuff. Another place to go is Goodwill or other thrift shops. These are absolutely great for finding really cool and unique things to put in your rat's cage. As long as as you clean your items first when you bring them home, they should be perfectly safe for your rats as well. And whenever I go to one of these stores, I often find myself taking home something for the rats just because they have so many cool miniature items there, and I just absolutely love these places. Now if you are looking for some easy DIY rat toy videos, I will have some of my DIY videos linked in the description below. Now before I move on, I do want to talk a little bit about play pens. If you need to use a play pen to free range your rats like I do, it's a good idea to make your own. There are some options out there for buying them of course, however these are not going to be cheap, and most of them are also very ineffective at corralling your rats. So instead a really good option is to make a DIY play pen out of some spare cardboard and some duct tape. I only use spare cardboard for this, so that cost me absolutely nothing. Most stores will willingly give you their cardboard for free if you ask, and because of this, that means the only thing you'll be paying for is the duct tape or Gorilla Tape, which makes this playpen a really cheap and easy thing to make. Food-wise, the easiest thing to do is to buy in bulk. 
So if you're buying lab locks for your rats, for example, and let's say we're using Oxbow here, you might be able to find online these larger bags of like 20 or so pounds. I know in the case of Oxbow, it is a 20 pound bag, and this actually ends up being cheaper per pound than the three pound bags you can find in stores. So again, this is in the case of Oxbow. However, it does apply to most of the lab locks. Another option is to make your own rat food mix. However, depending on what you use, this may or may not be cheaper, and you don't want to compromise in terms of quality when it comes to food. Bedding-wise, fabric is probably going to be one of the cheapest options just because you can use things like old clothes or old blankets or old towels. However, I do find that these don't tend to be very good at controlling odor, so you will need an under pad. The one that I would recommend most would be something like a U-Haul pad. If you really need to go cheaper than that, you can try newspapers. However, these are not going to be nearly as good at odor control as a U-Haul pad would be. And in terms of loose bedding, you can rip apart some paper or some paper bags, and this stuff can make really good nesting material for the rats. Paper bedding does not have the best odor control. However, in terms of bedding, it is one of the cheaper options. You can also give your rats toilet paper or tissues to use as bedding and they will greatly enjoy ripping it apart and using it in their nest. Now, finally, to wrap this up, I do want to talk about vet costs. In terms of cost reduction, vets are probably the one thing you can't really reduce too much just because vets do tend to cost a certain amount. Now, how much they cost will depend on where you live and what vet you go to. However, it's a good idea to always have a vet fund of at least $100 if possible, just in case something goes wrong with your rats and they need immediate vet treatment. So that's really all I have for you today, and I hope this video was helpful. If you would like more rat care or rat trick training tips, feel free to visit my website at www.rattricks.weebly.com, link in the description. Other than that, I hope you have a wonderful day, and I hope to see you next time. Bye!